Priya, do you have a website where people can get more information about what you're talking about? Uh, there's green. There's a Green Scare website. Just Google Green Scare, green and scare. or you can you know go to Free's website, freefreenow.org, uh, or Google Jeffrey Lures or Daniel McGowan for that matter, who's um, a friend and uh, you know get, get caught up in the way. Green Scare and sure. didn't cooperate with the government right. and. Um, well, I you know sometimes let's see if we have the uh, we have the courage to pick up another call and see if it's a real. Hi, oh, you're on the air. Hi, hi, Paul. Go I ahead. just want to say that it's I really enjoy your show. Delay. I try to watch it every week, and um, I guess I'm actually, not. I'm actually uh, jerking okay. off. Right? Well, can I say okay, that there's yeah. a tradition in America, by the Hello, way? You're on the air. Um, Go ahead. Using your body Where's in like, ecotage or, or labor struggles, uh, people have that. sort try of again. taken yeah. on more radical and militant forms of action, pro forms mm -hmm. of protest that they can't easily control. I guess, like voting. Which is why people, you know, choose other forms What's of your tactics position on, uh, that aren't on terrorism, on, despite what the state and their What's the anarchist says. position on Barack Obama, President Obama? Talk about changing the subject, man. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, well we're going to make a tra listen, transition as far as, segue. Uh, the environment the in Copenhagen. Part. You know, um, I mean, it's 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 just. Uh, Considering that global warming and climate change is actually going to destroy uh, millions and millions of human and non-human lives, like it is already doing, you know, but desertification and droughts and uh, starvation and all the things we see now, but are going to be, you know, amplified, uh, mm -hmm. just the loss of biodiversity, you know, it, the, the whole picture is, it's, it's nauseating. I guess it is, and to call someone like free a terrorist and these people that are trying to speak up terrorists, mm -hmm. Is, I guess to be expected well, what does at this point, change mean to and you? it's important to find a response. Unfortunately, they've been ignored, I guess, by the rest of what the left. What does climate change, global warming, whatever, that but kind of thing mean to you? Oh well, worker. personally, yeah. oh well, yeah. I don't know. I guess since I live in Manhattan and we're at sea level, <laughs> yeah. you know, you better learn to swim or bail. Oh, or, that's very interesting. The thing well, is, we, there is nowhere to run. This is a small, finite planet. And we're very much bumping up against I, I our wanted limits. I want to show and some capacity. video footage that was taken by a friend of ours from Time Out New York. Oh, oh yeah. From the Copenhagen, Copenhagen, I guess. Copenhagen protest. is a good. Copenhagen. It's actually Copenhagen protest. is a good Copenhagen. example of people getting together in the street and showing some kind of unity in the face of this kind of corruption okay, let's watch that for and a ineptitude. Or two. It's pretty interesting uh, and. Uh, that was inspiring, and uh, I think Free's kind of direct action is what led to this kind of recognition that this was, uh, you know, the people putting this on the map, on the radar of another, otherwise really, uh, this, this whole culture that doesn't pay attention, you know. And I think what we're but watching here is... it was a tremendous is, sacrifice, uh, and I really wish it didn't have had to happen. There's Time's Up, so now we know it's Time's Up, it's been branded. Is there a sound? Uh, let's see. We're going to cut down the mic. <laughs> Okay, can anybody out there see this so I know it's broadcasting? You see these people? So if anything goes wrong, the medics will come into play. There's other people that are assisting on bicycle. Um, in Copenhagen, they're really amazing with food. At every location, they feed people. So there's people um, like Food Not Bombs in America, but they're really well at, they can feed people everywhere. This looks like a special task force here. How's it going? <laughs> no. It's getting quiet now. Looks like they can't really tell what kind of guns they have. No taser equipment though, but they do have guns. And and those are the dog vehicles. And the police eat donuts here. I saw that yesterday. Let's see if I can get out here. I'm just gonna try to go underneath. Oh yeah. 
but it looks like there's just police on this bus. No, it's a police bus. Wow. Everybody wears black. Questionable. Black. And here we got some black block. Very few bikers had spandex. This vehicle just pulled down the camera. See that camera on top. So the police are recording us, but really, really stickles and remote control cameras. Okay, I'm going to have to sign off. I'm just going to let the battery run out. Well, about a hundred press, too. All right, here we are back uh, with Priya Warcry. I'm Paul DiRienzo, and that was, that was some footage that was, uh, uh, you know, obviously, obviously shot uh, in Copenhagen at the uh, climate change, and those were some of the protests. And we know that over a thousand people were arrested, as as what I heard in in Copenhagen. Wow. A thousand protesters yeah, were arrested. So um, there was a response by riot police. Uh, there was a black bloc that consisted of. Uh, many different countries uh, representing in squatters. There's a squatter culture in um, Copenhagen, and um, mm -hmm. but so the you know, but I think there is more tolerance for dissent to some degree there. But you know, I guess. Well, they seem to do the same thing. They swept everybody off the street, as I remember they did in 2004 here in New York, and put them all in the uh, that uh, garbage. Uh, uh, in the pier, garbage. The garbage <laughs> pier <laughs> over there on the Hudson River. But, um, yeah, I remember. Uh, so it's pretty atrocious in the United States how dissent is viewed and treated to as terrorism. To arrest people before they do anything, to pre prevent detention, preventive arrest. Yeah, and yeah. I think the media demonization and the language such as eco-terrorism and the use of like extremism. And when we consider what really is extreme in life and what the terrorism or where the terror is coming from, it tends to be from state and corporate mm -hmm. destruction of life, right. human and otherwise. Sure. So. By the way, I think we'll, it's to distract us from that, that we're supposed to focus and be afraid of right. uh, these people who are speaking out about it. Now, tell me about, you know, you, you brought up earlier this concept of echo, echotage, echoterrorism. You know, where, where does, you know, is this, is this not uh, the, the Martin Luther King style movement? Is this a movement that... Martin uh, Luther King. Yeah, as far as, you know, nonviolence. Had to put up with a lot peace. of violence. Yeah, but what do you, you think know, as far as the response? On people and dogs and stuff. You know, so a lot the state of... hasn't changed. It's a question of how do we survive and continue to, um, A, you know, our goals are to protect this place, but also not to be destroyed in the process in one way or another. And, you know, that means also examining our movements to see what our weaknesses are. And we do have some, as opposed to being the kind of communities that can actually function in the face of this kind of repression and hostility. Um, mm -hmm. And I think the truth is most people do care about the earth and living in a clean, safe environment. Mm -hmm. And um, if they understood what, what they were losing, what was being destroyed, I, they would care. And mm -hmm. we're not shown that in the media that's busy selling uh, SUVs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, our values, our connection to life, you know, those things have to be considered right. as well. 